Hey, it's H here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover wave analysis with LED wave theory and provide multiple scenarios a price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Today, instead of looking at all of them on higher time frame, we're just going to be focusing on this main count that I have. If you want to be seeing the higher time frame other ideas, you're more than welcome to visit the previous videos I've done. For now, let's focus on this. Uh, higher time frame WXY in which we have um, ABC in the first W, WXY into X and then again WX in, and Y into the way Y. Again not allowed in the original Elihu wave principle this complex correction within a complex correction. Um, so but again that is the, my preferred method at the moment as, as it has the best right best look overall. Um, of course it could be five ways or some somehow placed in here um, this could be a ABC and but again then this would be five ways already or we would have to resort to the fact that we would have a one two three four and five of course that is possible as well but to me this looks better overall so that's why I'm sticking with this now inside the a wave again as mentioned I have this preferred method or count in which we have a one two three four and five and then uh, we would be looking three ways here um, however it is still possible that we have bottomed here um, and we are looking for some bullish ideas um, let's go through them fast before going further so overall the idea is that we have a one here a two here uh, whether this is going to be part of a um, larger degree or larger um, contracting diagonal like something like this we don't know for sure yet but again is getting closer and closer to these invalidation levels for this uh, contracting diagonal the invalidation point is right here around the 18.5k area and and yeah that is basically it um, actually it is pretty much earlier because because we can't see it go beyond the one-to-one -one extension here because this if this is indeed a contracting structure this here would need to be smaller in price than this one and we can see that invalidation comes actually way earlier around here which is getting really close the other idea was that if indeed we had this as an a and then b we would be looking for c wave here and c wave could be as a one two three four and five and this would be an expanding diagonal um, at this point again we would have um, invalidation point here where the wave two is we don't have any other rules saying that we can't have a very deep correction here um, because uh, because it is an expanding diagonal right but that is that um, not really liking the bullish counts they are there uh, I'm not playing them at all um, I'm more leaning towards the bearish side still so in here again as we were discussing this is the B wave in here we would have W X and Y um, completing up here we had some trouble identifying these wave structures inside as they were non non-traditional and non um, good looking inside so that's why we had trouble identifying this as the top originally now that the wave structure did um, play out more and invalidated some of the previous ideas we had to be contemplating with this idea that this is indeed that way why and after that again we could be looking at this as a more as a one two now let's focus in here uh, 15 minute time frame these are very similar this impulse bull and bear uh, but instead in the bullish scenario this whole structure would be an a b and c um, and again we don't really want to see go beyond the 2.236 here but if we are looking into the wave structure itself here it is looking very very bearish i'll label this as a first fiber move then uh, w x y into w here so w x y into wave y here and wave b ends here so a b and then looking for c wave so again this would be a zigzag 
At the moment, this wave C would be very uh, extended. And here we would have something like a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 into wave 1, 3 a pullback into wave 2, and again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can't really have this as a third as we are going to get overlap between these. So again, another 1, 2. Then what we have again, if this is a 1, 2, we can't really have this as a, a 3, 4, just because again we have overlap. And this is making this count really bearish. Am I seeing that we are going to be stopping before this? Not, not that easily. Um, we have so many extensions here, so many stacked one twos that again is not that likely, but we'll see how it turns out. At the moment, we can see some kind of divergence between these. So at least we could be saying that we are finally starting to get a one, two, three, four, five structure that is getting finished, um, possibly. Right. Um, again, it did go beyond the 1.618 here, so we could be extending. Oh, yeah. Actually, it did not extend too much, so we could be seeing some kind of extension here on the fifth. But we'll see. The uh, bearish idea overall is instead of having the A wave here, we have a wave one, and that adds just another uh, wave structure at this structure overall down here after all these substructures are done but that is pretty much these ideas that i can present i can't really get anything else down here that would fit the idea i, I gave my explanation why i have such bearish views in here they are overlapping and can't get them uh, otherwise other ways around the first idea yesterday that i presented saying that this was a one two one two i did not really like that at all this one too, again, was smaller than this one. Again, higher degree, lower degree, does not make sense. Um, and to me, this is better as a one, two, three, four, five instead. But yeah, that is pretty much it. We are really close to the overall higher time frame uh, parallel channel, not this one, but this one. Um, that price should come in at around 19.5K if if this trajectory is going to be holding true, um, then we have, yeah, some kind of channel coming down here as well. Not too much confluence around this. Uh, we could be looking at some different pivots here. I feel like we have to be fitting a best fit channel here uh, in order to capture any of the price movements properly. So this is what it's going to be looking like at the very moment. Oh, that did not pivot right. There we go. So we are getting back to this uh, trend trend line on the lower trend line here, um, which is again supporting the idea that we had, um, which is saying that wave five is is coming to an end. Of course, we would need to go to higher or lower degree to see this to be the case. But again, we'll see. Um, what else? What else? Let's take a look at this, uh, some of the naked point of controls and daily and weekly levels that we're expecting. Again, as we are having multiple nested one twos here, uh, we could be expecting very downwards dump. Um, definitely these weeklies that we had, 19.3K um, is definitely in danger for sure. Even this weekly down here at 18k, I wouldn't be too surprised if this is going to be broken. As we see that the 2.618 extension of this move here is already down here. So yeah, lower degree, 1, 2 of this micro, um, 2.618 is right below these weeklies that we had here. We had some... Um, naked point of controls here that was lining up pre pretty well on some of the uh well where was it i think it was this spike here at this level and we saw this initial bump up higher but again it just ro rolled over and turned into into this being a one two three four and five uh, nothing more more to it as we have so much uh bearish momentum here at the moment i wouldn't be um, going for longs on these short pullbacks here um, if those are even, even going to be happening but again there's definitely more shorting 
uh, possibilities in this one as we are still within the three waves of things. But yeah, that is pretty much everything I want to share today on Bitcoin. If you made this far into the video, I would appreciate the likes. Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.